Okay guys, uh, surprise, surprise, I'm back with another video and this is a real quick one. Um, uh, in my previous video at Westfield I talked about the concept of safe ground revealed. I'm always on the lookout for that. If uh, there's an opportunity to exploit the spotting uh, of anybody on my team and get closer to the enemy positions, I will do so. Now. In this battle, uh, both teams have thrown a punch, and our punch in the middle has encountered almost no resistance. Uh, I believe they uh, wiped out a Tiger II there, but you can see they're awfully close to the enemy flag without uh, encountering anything at the moment. On the other hand, a huge enemy force is about to destroy a Black Prince and a T-25-2 and conversely get awfully close to our cap. So in, in chaos like this, where the outcome is sort of hard to judge, uh, in many cases I will just go for a quick cap, we'll win the game and move on to the next battle. And uh, you know, I sent this out to uh, people on my email list uh, talking about uh, this is my form of rebellion against maps that I don't like. And uh, for sure, you know, I don't like this map. It's very difficult to do reconnaissance and survive. Uh, but this is one of those cases where um, I managed to sneak into the enemy base uh, essentially unobserved and KZ Bay and Cosmic Hope there uh, supported me and uh, the M44 uh, named NASCAR 90 at the start of the ba battle he said that he uh, was sick of this map and he wasn't going to play in this game and uh, he was true to his word he abandoned the fight and I found him there at the flag. Now. Uh, one tactical point here, I, I a couple of times told the E25 no further. The reason for that is if a pitched battle starts uh, where roughly uh, just a little bit ahead there uh, where the E25 and the Comet is, if, if the battle moves further away from this position that means the enemy is closer to their own cap. I want them to fight as far away from their cap as possible because I'm intending to cap you know, I don't know if if our TDs at the at the base are going to be able to hold their position. So since the the outcome is uncertain, I'd rather, like I said, just go for a quick cap. So I'm going to hit the space bar, and there I am going over the side. And uh, the battle has started. A bit, well, actually, it hasn't started. There's a a comet and a Cromwell that the uh, E25 encountered, and. Uh, Look at that IS-3. He's awfully close to their flag. That's safe ground revealed, right? I can go right next to him. And without being uh, in any danger, I can get right on their cap. And like I said, the uh, the arty there that resigned from... You know, I haven't seen many resignations in in this game, but that was a def he definitely resigned from this game. So uh, he's waiting for me here. Hadn't moved from the spawn. I just start hitting him. And uh, here come K KZ Bay and Cosmic Hope. You know, they they uh, they uh, did a little bit of work there. But then, uh, like I said, I'm... Look at our base, right? I'm a little concerned that... Uh, who knows whether that Ferdinand and the 8.8 uh, .8 and the uh, Jag Panzer IV are going to be able to hold them off. So uh, KZ Bay and Cosmic Hope came and joined me here. And I told Cosmic Hope to shoot anybody coming around the corner, you know, standard procedure. And you can see, look at that, IS-3, Tiger II, Panzer IV-S, Comet and Cromwell completely outflanked. And we're about to cap. And, uh, you know, there's barely been any fighting, but uh, my attitude is, uh, you know, we'll just quickly move on to the next game and... Uh, just rack up a win here and people that want to get in their damage, well, they can do it in the next one as far as I'm concerned. So it's game over. I hope you enjoyed the video. And all you scouts out there, safe ground revealed. Take advantage of it.